Oh no, Somali pirates! Oh, hey guys, I'm, uh, I'm back from the store with that milk I said I was gonna buy. It's, uh, it's only been a, a few days, right? <laughs> but I'm here. This week's stunt was brought to you by Anwar Khan. Leave your stunt suggestions below and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss next week's stunt. Welcome back to YouTube's most consistently inconsistent uploader on the platform who lies to his subs about when he posts and therefore has probably developed some trust issues between him and his viewers for years to come. And you can take that to the bank. And in today's episode of TikTok Trash, we'll be talking about phenomenon on the interweb, specifically in the world of TikTok, and that is the invasion of so-called nice guys. But why the air quotes, Gunner? Are you implying that these nice guys you speak of, dare I say, not be so nice? Guys, great question, Emily, and that is exactly what I'm saying. To put it simply, this specific breed of dudes on TikTok will pretend to be a girl's fantasy of everything nice and sweet. Almost being the physical embodiment of the phrase, I'm not like other guys. Uh, I hold doors for women. I go to church sometimes. I set the table before dinner back when I worked at TGI Fridays. I'm not like other guys. I might look like a fuckboy, I might act like a fuckboy, I might even fuck like a fuckboy, but I'm not, I'm a nice guy. So I collected a bunch of TikToks of these self-proclaimed nice guys and we're just gonna jump right into it. So, uh, welcome to hell. All right, so I started us off pretty easy. <laughs> oh man, the weight of being a nice guy is just so heavy. It's just, it's just such a burden. I try to get with a girl and they say, Kate, you're just too nice. You're too good of a guy. I wish I could take the easy route and just be a fuck boy, which I'm totally not. <laughs> oh wait, did I forget to wear a shirt today? <laughs> what? The hypocrisy achieved in just seven seconds is uh, honestly impressive. Like Cade, you are a fuck boy. Just own that shit. Your entire page is exclusively shirtless thirst trap TikToks. How are you in denial of your own personality? That's like someone trying to convince you they're not a nudist when they happen to be naked an awful lot. And it's like, dude, you're actually naked right now even. And, and we're in shop right. I, I don't know what you're doing. I think one thing Cade and everyone else going forward has in common is they really want you to know just how nice they are, like almost in a bragging way. We of course have no way of actually knowing if they're nice, but they sure like to tell us they are. And if there's one thing I know about nice guys, it's how often they tell you they're nice guys, so you don't forget. Cause you is a sweetheart. Cade said, true, what can I say? Just being my best altruistic self. Don't forget to have me on Snapchat though. That'd be tight, like you better be. I'm a nice guy. Can't wait to do all those generic ass things with my wife. <laughs> Girl, I can't wait to fall asleep with you and, uh, and get older with you. You know, that thing that happens as time moves forward. That'd be real special. I don't know why I went Southern on that one. It just kind of felt right. <laughs> like, could you be any less specific? Um, also, I want to look, look at things with you and um, be near you in, in an area in a vicinity that's close by to you. I think that'd be really nice. I think he just wants his girl following, hoping that they still have a chance with him, so he'll keep it very vague so they think that he's talking about them. The thing I found really funny about this one is that he puts that text on the screen on the phone after he's done filming. So in the car, he's just smoldering and smirking at the camera when he's really just looking at himself. That's gotta be pretty awkward. I really like to imagine this was like his fifth take too, and that he just kept messing up his look at the camera. Gosh dang it, Noah, that wasn't the right look. You were supposed to look away, smile, then smirk. Do it again. Nice guy. Ladies, do not go for the man that says, and how do you plan to achieve that when you tell him all your biggest and wildest dreams? Go for the man that says, and where do we start? Same thing again, is that, is that, is that easy to do with the, with the wink and the smile at the same time? You think that took him one take? No, oh, that shit's hard. That's that's hard to do. No one's born with that much chivalry. There's no shot he got that first try. Ladies, don't go for the man I just made up that'll stomp on all your hopes and dreams. Go for a man that can uh, that can do this sh this shit. <laughs> Notice that making a TikTok like this, he simultaneously gives advice while also making it look like he's the good guy the girl needs. It's smart. Almost too smart. Noah Schnack, you are a handsome devil, but you are also my arch nemesis. Because no matter how many poor girls you got convinced, I know you're not a good guy. You pretend to be a man of God. Yet thou breaketh, oneth, the Lord's owneth, ten commandments. Do 
not go for the boy who says, and how do you plan to achieve that when you tell him about all your big dreams? Go for the man who says, where do we start? That's right, my guy Noah is a serial copycat and a pretty successful one too. I know what some of you youngins are gonna say. Welcome to TikTok, old man. This is how it is. But I say nah. Stealing content is wrong no matter how long the video is. I said it. He doesn't even try to change it up a little bit. They're the same exact videos. Oh, except the one in the car where he changed to pursue God with her to grow old with her. Pretty conscious change of a man who knows he's committing sin, eh? But that style, that charisma, that... That shit, it, it, I get why it's hard to chastise him, but someone's gotta do it. Know a snacky? You're the furthest thing from a snack. E. Let, let's move on. Jet A Skew. His bio just says, I love you. He just loves everybody. He's a nice guy, he can't pick favorites. And he definitely doesn't like to not like somebody. You're part of ISIS? All cool with him. He loves you too. Jet's younger, he's like 17, so I don't wanna rip on him too hard, but he does have a few funny TikToks. I get what he was going for, but the products is, uh, I think you missed the mark. Dude, I told my girl not to drink. What the fuck? Come here, babe. <laughs> like, easy, Jet. <laughs> she she can drink if she wants to. I, I guess I guess good job protecting her, I think. I, I hope. This one's funny, but kind of dark, so bear with me. So in this TikTok, Jet says, if you're going through something and you need to get it out, just get it off your chest. So the comments are all of his fans opening up about personal problems, which obviously isn't very funny but Jet's replies to the comments are, I'm having a rough time at home and literally everything is falling apart. Our household is falling apart and my mom's scared to get out of it. It happened to me too. It's rough, but it'll patch itself up eventually. Nice, Jet. <laughs> Great advice there. <laughs> I'm getting very insecure and I don't know how to feel better. Don't be insecure. You're amazing. You should know that. His response is literally just saying that her feelings are invalid. You're insecure? Uh, yeah, don't do that. Hey, dude, can I talk to you about something? Yeah, dude, of course. I'm here for you. Get it off your chest. Thanks, man. It's just I've been feeling really depressed lately. Wait, what did you say? I said I've been feeling really depressed. Like, like depression. I don't understand. The mental illness depression. I have that. Um, okay. Have you tried not having depression? Jet, that's, that's not how that works. I'm medicated. Hey. You're amazing. You should know that. You have no idea what depression is, do you? Not a clue. These guys just want to have it all, huh? It's not enough to have hundreds of thousands of girl fans swooning over you. You also have to be a nice guy, and you have to make sure they don't forget that. Whether you're nice in real life, or even confirmed not to be, uh, stop telling us. Nice guys typically don't do that. You see, I'm a dick who just made fun of a 17-year-old's TikTok, but at least I'm open about it. Anyways, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed. I'm very well aware I've been slacking on the promises I've made to upload more, and I don't want to make another empty promise, so just know I'm going to try to do better. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter for some not safe for work content, if you know what I mean, and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Good day. <laughs>